what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. First things first, do not record and drive like me. Not a super smart thing to do. Um, right now I am on the road, I got a new car. Whoever guesses the car gets a free cookie. I don't know, just guess the kind of car that I got. I'll probably be making a video on it. Um, but anyway, besides the point, I'm heading home right now from Idaho, that's where I got the car. Um, we're also doing an update on 75 hard. We're on week three. So that's exactly what that is. I'm gonna take you guys through kind of like what my day is looking like while I'm on the road and doing 75 hard at the same time. So yeah, right now we're in Ellensburg. I'm visiting Jordan here. If you guys don't remember Jordan, he's my friend that goes here at Ellensburg. He goes to school here at Central. Anyway, not super exciting, but yeah, we're here to visit him. We're gonna go grab something to eat really quick and then we're gonna go shoot some guns in the hills, I think. So yeah, it'll be pretty dope. Also, by the way, this is how much water that we've had so far during the day. Um, we're already, we're pretty much almost done with the gallon because I put some in there this morning. I just didn't wait for it to fill up all the way and so I depleted a lot of it. So we're pretty much almost there. Still going to finish it just to say like I deleted a gallon but one of the thing that's weird about the gallon from like the store like the plastic ones like this there's so much easier to drink for some reason i'm not too sure why i don't know if it's like a psychological thing personally i feel like the big plastic ones are more than a gallon and the ones at the store are exactly a gallon maybe not but it's kind of what i think maybe i'm just being wussy i don't know hey. that's cool. Welcome, valued customer. Place your item if you have your shoppers. Breakfast of champions. All right, so Jordan Bryce just got out of the car. This is my smoke cured ham. Last piece of ham for you guys to enjoy. Well, I'm out, man. Also had a milkshake. Oh, we're out of sandwiches at the place, so I was like, that sucks. But right now we're gonna go shooting. Uh, Jordan's sighting in his gun. I'm gonna take a couple shots with my nine that I have. After this, we're gonna head home. Um, I still got some stuff to do for 75 hard today. I have like my indoor workout left. Gallon of water is almost completed. So yeah, but we're gonna go shooting now. So I accidentally fired the rifle on the outside of the truck and uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't even trying to shoot it. I was just trying to get lined up and I just was too happy on the trigger and we're bleeding, so yeah. Ah, man, here I'll let you guys see it really quick, up close and personal. Ooh, look at that, yum. That looks scrum delicious, man. I was wearing like my glasses earlier. My sisters were like, you look like Harry Potter. Too sure I felt about that one. But um, anyway, oh damn, I just touched it. Uh, this is where we're at with this. Uh, this wasn't like, this wasn't what I had in mind for the video, um, but it is what it is. Uh, right now we're about to get our inside workout in. Today I just did like some, honestly, yoga stuff, some like deep breathing for like a workout. I know it doesn't sound like much. Just where we're at right now and uh, I'm in a little bit of just, no, I don't know how to describe where, how I'm feeling right now. I think it just like, I'm just going through the motions right now. I don't know, I just think it's weird. Like I went to go get a car, that's great. And then I got smacked in the forehead and then had to get stitches. Like I think it's just upsetting that not everything went smoothly. It's like, wow. Okay. And I'm not like letting it take over everything. I just, I don't know how I'm feeling, but yeah, Bubba isn't with us today. He's working, which, yeah, he's a working man. I don't know where I'm going with this. Obviously, I'm tired too. I only got five hours of sleep last night after getting hit in the head. So that's where we're at. And that's why we just slammed pre-workout. But it doesn't even have a stim in it. So yeah, go Levi for 10% off. All right, so today, we're, we'll be changing the program around since I think the last time we recorded a workout. And we're gonna be starting off with bench. We're trying to increase our uh, strength and bench right now. And I've actually held on to a lot of strength from not even benching for a while. So we're gonna do 245. Uh, we're gonna hit that for eight to 10 reps. Then we're gonna go up again 
hit it for six to eight reps, go up again, hit it for three, no, four to six reps, and then go for two to four reps for our last set. But we're going up in weight every time. That's why the reps are going down. Up with 295 for one. I could have went for two if someone else was there. I feel like I could have gone for two either way, but I just wussied out. Got scared. Shivered me timbers. It was like that dog meme that shakes and his like mouth is like chattering. That was me. Uh, doing some dumbbell work right now. Incline after we hit that flat. We're gonna try to hit incline. I'm always trying to target my upper chest a weak point. So we're gonna finish off with that and then some other accessory work and then some triceps. It is pouring rain out. I don't know if I've told you guys at all yet, but it's been super sunny. We've had like the most beautiful fall that we've ever had in like existence. The thing is it hasn't been raining, so it messed with fishing a lot. It messed with a lot of other things. So now it's raining for like the next like 10 days in a row. This is nothing, nothing new to me. We're gonna go home, make a dinner, our last meal of the day, out with bean bean the bean and then probably read our 10 pages because I didn't do that this morning considering the fact I headed all the way from Ellensburg to school today as soon as I woke up two and a half hour drive so here we're gonna get home and make some almost like guava grub get to you in just a sec Whew. all right so this is my current physique update right now. This is how we're looking like for 75 hard, the third week going in. I know this isn't like a specific day, it's kind of more so the week, this is the last day of the week too. Um, I know, I feel like I've recorded so many multiple days. Sometimes this just happens, like, like I told you guys yesterday in the car, like things have just been really chaotic lately. I haven't been really feeling all there and that is, like I said, perfectly oh. Okay, um, we weighed in at about 173 pounds this morning, so a little bit more of some weight fluctuation and whatnot, um, probably just from like the running and the outdoor workouts. Plus, I think I gave you guys my weight wrong in the last video. I said like 178, 180 pounds, but I was more so around like 176, 177. I'm really familiar with kilograms, so yeah. You're probably wondering what I toss on my bed, and it is this right here. It is called Cuts. It is a, I would say, simplicity style of clothing brand. They're like all over TikTok, all over Instagram. I need these to show you guys here on my YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now this is the outfit that we got on, starting off with this top right here, which is the Crew Cut T right here. Pretty nice, I wear a size large. I like the way it hugs my body. It's not too small. So if I were you, probably size up just because normally I do wear mediums, but I've also been wearing larges now though. So if you're kind of like my sort of build, like 5'7", a little muscular, a little more weight on you, definitely go up in size to a large for sure. But nonetheless, a very comfortable, light material. It's very good quality, I will say, without a doubt. Again, simple though. Like look at this, this is, I'm wearing an all black outfit. Very, very simplistic. As far as the pants go, the pants are the perfect length for someone like my size. Again, if you're my size, try to order like exactly how I did. I got a medium in the bottoms and then I got a large on top. Now, the only thing wrong with the pants, I will say, and this is just because of me, so it's not the pants fault, it's my fault, so it's not really the pants. Anyway, um, I just have bigger thighs, so it's making these pretty tight. Not like too tight to the point where like I couldn't get them on, it's just they are tighter than I would want my pants. Again, that is just me. So if you guys have smaller legs than me, again, I do have a bigger pair of legs than most people will fit perfectly fine for you. I do like that they'll like stretchy though, but they also look like super stylish and simple and whatnot. They also have like the like belt loop 
on here so you could put like a belt in, tuck the shirt in. Only if you wore this out on a date, your date would be like, dang, he looks simple, he looks good, clean cut. And they'd be like, what? I don't know, I haven't been on a date in a while. Um, so yeah, don't take any dating advice from me, but I definitely think this would be good on a date when I'm just going out and trying to dress nice, but also keeping it simple. The name is Cuts. Thank you guys again for sending me over this. If you guys are interested at anything they have, they have way more stuff on their website. I'm just showing you guys a little sample of what they got. They also gave me a code for you guys to use at checkout, which will be more here on the screen for you guys. So use that code for a little bit of savings at Cuts. And that is my ad for the video. Now I'm about to end the video, but before I end the video, I just want to say, this has been the hardest week. Like I thought week two was pretty hard and I think I said that about that week, but this week was even harder. I think it was just because of the external factors of life, just kind of like being all over the place. And it really, I don't know, it really humbled me because the first time I did 75 hard, I was just working full time, which is still a lot, but I didn't have like a whole bunch of other things to balance on my plate. Like, you know, um, having a car, making like payments, doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So like I was just literally doing social media, working a full-time job. Like that was it, I wasn't worrying about bills or anything. So it just really humbled me and made me realize that there are adults out here taking on this challenge or other people like you who are balancing a whole bunch of other things. It just made me respect that so much more and whatnot. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button. If you guys want to do that, and as always, that's how you do So this guy's on the next one. I'm not the best, 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 I'